Hello, welcome to Luxury with Calvin. I'm Calvin, <laughs> duh. Um, it is 9 a.m. and I'm a little tired, but we're gonna power through this day. I went to Ulta yesterday and I picked up the new uh, Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. So this is what it looks like, the packaging. Um, and I did get four colors because they actually don't have it out yet. They have it, they have it in the back, um, but they don't have it out on display yet because they don't have the display yet. Um, so I just picked up like four random colors, if, if you guys can see that. So I got 60NN, 50WO, 50NN, and 50WY. So let's, um, let's see how this performs. All right, so I just want to read really quickly about what it says. So it's on the Urban Decay website. It says that it's go faster and stay longer with our new quickie 24 hour long wearing concealer. The first of its kind, each quickie concealer comes with a dual ended applicator for convenient and on the go coverage. So you can tap it, buff it, and be done up to 24 hour wear. Infused with vitamin E, uh, experience a full coverage formula that hydrates your skin for a long day. And it, so it claims that it's um, waterproof, 24 hour long wear, and lightweight full coverage with a real skin matte finish. So, I mean, that sounds wonderful, right? But realistically, like, I don't wear full coverage anymore, so I wonder how this is going to wear. So, let's, uh, let's start swatching. So, it has, like, this little purple brush, like a dark purple hair brush, and it's really soft, really dense and really soft. I'm gonna start swatching these four colors to see which one looks good. This first one is 60NN. That's 60 NN. The second one, this second one is 50 W O. Whoa, that's orange. This third one is 50 NN. Oh, that's a that's a good color. And this fourth one is 50 W Y. Oh. First of all, here are the swatches. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. So you got 60NN, you got 50WO, you have 50NN, and then you have 50WY. That makes no freaking sense. How do you go from neutral to orange to neutrally-ish and then to like the super light green? Can Urban Decay, someone from Urban Decay explain that? How does that even make sense? I mean, these numbers are so close to each other. How does that... I mean, how do you go from so neutral to so orange, back to so neutral to so... Mm. Oh, Lord. All right, so we're just going to go with the third one, which is 50NN. That looks like a pretty good color, which is this one right here. So let's, uh, let's take this off and we'll put it on. Now that we have that off the face, because those colors were terrible, we'll take the closest one that we can do is 50NN. Um, and I guess we'll try this under the eyes. I have no idea how quick this dries, so I'm going to do one side at a time. Okay, this, this brush? Wait a minute. This brush is real, first of all, this brush is super hard, super dense. It's really soft, but it's really hard and too small it needs to be like bigger yeah the brush needs to be bigger but wait a minute this coverage holy cow hold on hold on whoa do you guys see that look at that coverage look at my under eye how because by the way i'm super tired i have to go to work but you can see my full darkness and glory, but look at that. Dang, that's good. That's like full coverage and smooth. Yeah, I definitely have to say as I'm doing this other side, the brush is just, it's just way too small. But as I'm blending it, blending it with this brush, you know, the, the effects that it's giving me, it's like flawless. It's like really full coverage but really like smooth 
And this color is, is still not olive enough. It's a little too pink for me, but this is the closest one that we can use that's gonna look more natural, the color-wise. Wow. Dang, that's like, this is like tart shape tape, but it's like really smooth. It's almost as if like, it's like smooth and blurry. Dang, that's gorgeous. You guys see that? Look at that. I'm looking up so you guys can see everything. Look at how smooth this looks. Wow. Okay. I'm going to finish my face because I'm, I'm, I'm on a time crunch. I'm going to finish my face and I'll be right back. I'm all done. I gotta go to work. It is currently 9.27 in the morning. Um, I'm rushing to work, but this is the final look. So we did um, Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. We did House Labs Foundation. We did Laura Mercier Ultra Blur to Set, and we did Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. And this, I mean, literally, <laughs> I look freaking flawless right now. Everything looks really smooth. You can tell how smooth. And I just love the Makeup by Marl Skin Enhancer because it gives that glow and a bronze. Um, but the concealer, dang, the concealer is good. So it's 9.27. I probably be home around 7 tonight. So I will check back in tonight and we'll see what the results will be. See you later. Hello, I'm home. Um, so, actually I was home a little earlier ago, but I just finished dinner. So we are currently doing our check-in at now 8.53. So I'm sure that's like, what, over 12 hours? Or something like that? Something like that, I don't know you guys. Oh no, almost 12 hours. Let's have a look. So let me zoom you guys in. 
So this is what it looks like. Now, I do wear a mask for work, so just ignore the bottom half. We're just really focusing under the eyes because that's really the main area that of the conceal that we place it at. So here's the concealer, as you guys can tell. I got you pretty up close. The concealer, it doesn't... Cr I, it's pretty impressive in the essence that it's pretty full coverage and it looks really smooth. But it does, at the end of the day, it does kind of like... It makes it. I don't know. It looks. It looks creasy. It look. It's a like creasing, but without makeup in it. If that makes sense. So like, it'll show the line, but it's not like. It's not makeup creasing. It's like. It's like. It's just emphasizing like the line. So it's pretty good. My only concern is that I feel like all the shades that I bought, all four of the shades that I purchased, um, they were pretty neutral. Like, these are the shades that I purchased. They were super neutral, and then this one right here was super orange. So, I feel like... I mean, I don't know if there's more shades that that is coming to Ulta, because these are the ones that I picked out in the basket that she had, um, that she brought up, brought from the stock room. So, I would say, give this concealer a try. It's, it's pretty full coverage, and it's really long-lasting. My only concern is that it, it just creases your lines not really like makeup creasing um would i wear it again maybe i would say this will probably be my concealer for when i go out like if i'm like day to day i still love my my dior backstage i love this for every day um but maybe for when i go to dinner i think this would be lovely to use so that's it that's for today's video um let me know if you want to see. Let me know if you want to see any other videos. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Thank you to everyone that has watched my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.